Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about how to change a drum head and how to tune a drum. The drums are the foundation to everything that's gonna sit on top of it. So your mix matters. The sound of the drums matters so much to this mix. So today we're gonna to be talking about some techniques that I've learned over the years. They're gonna enable you to not only know how to properly change a head, but how to tune a drum well and tune it quickly so that your drum sounds full and the audience is gonna love it. So let's take a look. Okay, so our first step, we're gonna talk about just how to change a drum head. I'm gonna kinda of show you a little bit of a pattern you should take when you're loosening the lugs. I'm gonna show you a little maintenance and then how to get the head to seat onto the shell properly. So we're just gonna start by, I'm gonna loosen the head all the way loose, all the way off. Uh, I'm gonna start on the first lug. I'm gonna loosen it. Then I'm gonna go to the lug to its right and I'm gonna loosen it. Then I'm gonna go across the drum to the opposite side of the drum, loosen it. Then one to its right, loosen it. Then across the drum, then one to its right, loosen it and back across to the drum. And once it's, once it's all loose, you can see that it's nice and loose. You've, you've you know, gotten the tension off of the shell. You can pretty much just, just slap the thing off and I'll just spin it off real quick. And possibly with a little movie magic, we'll speed this process up. Okay. So now that we have our lugs all the way loose, you can see I have the tom actually sitting on a drum throne. This really helps me to work closely with the drum, spin it around as I'm getting around. Um, and later on in another video when we talk about how to tune the drum, you're gonna see how the drum throne actually comes into play to mute the other head so that you are just isolating the top head as you're tuning it. So it's kind of a, a double whammy there. So I'm just gonna take these lugs off real quick. and gonna take the shell, I'm sorry, the, the rim, and the head. Pretty much, uh, we don't save drum heads around here. Um, I suppose you could in an emergency, but I don't recommend it. Um, once you've taken the, shell, the head off the shell, it's just not gonna sit on there right. Uh, it may, maybe in an emergency you could reuse it, but this is one of the most important steps is we wanna make sure that the edge of the drum is clean, free of any uh, dust or anything. I'll, I'll pretty much just, just uh, take my fingers and wipe it, make sure I'm getting all the dust off of that. I'll even kind of blow out the dust. <sighs> Bang on it, see some, some wood shavings coming out. Just wanna get a nice clean slate. If you have a rag, that helps too. Um, but usually the fingers are just fine. So now that the drum, the drum shell is ready, we're gonna go grab our new head real quick. So stand by. So now that we're ready to put the new head on, I just wanna talk real briefly about head choice. Um, I've chosen to use a coated Emperor made by Remo um, for a couple reasons. One, I like a, a two-ply head. Um, the coated head uh, just adds a little extra dampening to it. So an emperor, uh, you know, is a two-ply head. Um, another cool feature is if you're dealing with uh, reflection from, of lights coming off of your drum heads, um, the coated head will actually fix that for you and uh, you won't have an issue there. So it just depends on your preference. There's lots of good heads out there. There's other companies um, that you can choose. You, you really gotta try because depending on your drum, different heads will sound different on different drums. So you really just have to uh, experiment with that. Um, I've, I've over you know, years decided that I really like the way that an emperor sounds and I pretty much just decide between clear and coated depending on the sound I'm going for. So with that, we will bust out our new head. This is a 12 inch coated emperor. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that this drum head is seated onto the shell. And what that means is this drum head here is just a you know, piece of plastic that's glued into a little metal ring. 
that glue needs to stretch and crack. So the first thing I do is just to kind of get this thing ready is I'll just take my fingers and my thumb and I actually stretch out the head a little bit. You're not gonna hurt it, don't, don't go nuts, but just, just kind of getting it loose. I then find how I wanna place my head. So I'm gonna say, oh, with my, my logo, put the head on, gonna grab the rim, get it on, and I'm just gonna finger tight, get these on here. And I'm not gonna worry about going in the proper order just yet because they're not even, they're not even uh, tight enough to cause any tension. Just wanna get myself ready to start stretching this thing out. Two more lugs, or three more lugs. And the last one. So once they're finger tight, now I'm gonna go ahead and evenly get them finger tight to where I can't really tighten it anymore by just spinning the lug with my index finger and my thumb. And I'm getting them finger tight so I can feel that there is an even tension around the drum so that I know that they're all at a relative same starting point. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and stretch this head. So I'm gonna just use my fist or my hand and I'm actually gonna push in on this and really get this to start stretching. Again, that glue needs to sit on the edge of this drum. So really gonna put a lot of weight into it and you, you won't hurt it. I, I've literally stood on kick drum heads before. Um, I didn't think I jumped, but I stood. <laughs> So now that we're kind of that step, we're just gonna give it like one and a half turns. We're gonna go to the right, one and a half turns. We're gonna now follow our pattern across the drum head, one and a half turns to its right. Then across, oh, I went the wrong way, sorry. If you go the wrong way, that's okay. Just try and catch up, then across. So now we're, we're just a little bit tighter. I'm gonna stretch it again. Can you hear that cracking? It's all good, happy sounds. We're gonna do that again. We really wanna get this glue to crack. So it sounds a little high right now. That's the bottom head, sorry. Really, really high pitch. But that's okay because now the head is gonna stretch. So at this point, what I usually do is I just sit this drum aside, I let, I let it just kinda chill out, I'll go grab my other drums and I'll do the same thing. Now this is the same process that you'll take whether it's a floor tom or a snare drum, it doesn't matter, it's the same exact process. Uh, just making sure that that head is really on there tight, stretched and properly. On our next video when we talk about drum tuning, I'm gonna show you how to go back to having the head be loose and how to uh, tune it up from completely loose to a tone that's actually gonna be musical and usable for you.